We are learning more tonight about the ex-Marine who was on the run for years after his girlfriend from Phoenix was found dead back in 2016. Raymond McLeod was on the U.S. Marshals 15 most wanted list accused of killing Crystal Mitchell. After searching for him throughout Central America, he was finally arrested in El Salvador yesterday. Well, tonight we have more details that shows more about his violent past, including his arrest for domestic violence six years before he allegedly killed Mitchell. Michael Raimondi is live in the newsroom. He's been going through those court papers. Michael, what did they show? Well, Jamie, there really was a buildup of violence before Crystal Mitchell was murdered in 2009 that he, he pled guilty to assaulting his then wife. That was the start of McLeod's violence towards some of the people closest to him. Law enforcement in El Salvador put an end to the six-year search for Raymond McLeod. He's accused of killing his girlfriend from Phoenix, Crystal Mitchell, and taking off back in 2016. These court papers that are new tonight show he also assaulted his then-wife in a minor back in 2009. The correlation of domestic violence and a perpetrator um, of other forms of violence is prevalent. It's it's big. This is Mariah Moon, the CEO of New Life Center. She was not surprised McLeod had a history of domestic violence. There usually is a link to domestic violence. Um, us as advocates, we know that domestic violence is lethal. A year after McLeod pled guilty in 2009, the state dismissed charges against him after he completed the domestic violence diversion program. But six years later, law enforcement accused him of killing his girlfriend. McLeod was the last person to see Crystal Mitchell alive. Domestic violence is a cycle and it's not a one time. You can see here McLeod was wearing a shirt with the words coach and changing lives written on the back. Authorities had a tip that he was teaching in El Salvador. Moon is disturbed that McLeod was trying to pretend to be someone he was not. What I did find really unique um, and interesting about looking at the video and reading this case is how cunning perpetrators of domestic violence can be. Um, he was externally kind of the champion in, in what we uh, imagine in our society, uh, being in the military. Now, McLeod is being deported to San Diego to face charges. New Life Center says half of all female homicide cases are domestic violence in our country. So if you're in a violent relationship or situation at home, we have some resources for you on our website. Head to azfamily.com and then look under the Scene on TV tab. They can certainly help you get out of a bad situation. Reporting live in the newsroom tonight, I'm Michael Raimondi for Arizona's Family. Yeah.